In addition to once again talking about the mitzvah regarding the purifying waters mixed with the ashes of the red heifer, today we move on to a new topic, something that we've referenced a number of times in the past, but now we're going to talk about it in its source. These are the mitzvahs of Tzorat, which is usually known to mean the decoloration of one's skin. But as we'll mention, Tzorat is really a general uh, word. It could also apply to garments. It could even apply to bricks in a house. And it doesn't only mean decoloration. It could also mean that some hairs of a person fall out or something else. This is not leprosy. It's not a natural condition. This is a spiritual condition. Today's second mitzvah is the mitzvah to follow the laws of the Torah regarding tzarat of a person. First, firstly, what is considered to be tzarat? What color is tzarat? So there are different shades of white, the strongest one being like snow, the weakest one being like an egg yolk. There's also a red color that can be mixed into the tzarat. And there's the question of, does this make the person impure or not? Then there's, the, there's another question, which is that in some cases, a person with tzarat would have to quarantine. Is this Sarat going to make the person quarantine? Then there's also situations when a person would have to cut some of the hair around the Sarat to then see if the Sarat will spread into the area where the hair is. These all fall under the, this general mitzvah of following the laws of the Torah regarding Sarat of a person. More on this tomorrow. Thank you for watching.